Sit down, fatty. We're gonna have a talk. Hello everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and we're gonna have a little chat about our fitness goals here. Uh, I think that our fitness goals, and this isn't a fitness channel, we don't do a lot of that. Sometimes I post my lifts, but th this isn't that. But our fitness goals should align to and be subservient to our mission goals. So if you're like me, you're an everyday guy and, and you want to embrace your martial American heritage, you should ask yourself, do my current fitness goals align with what I picture my mission goals being? And, and make sure that those are in sync. For example, uh, about four months ago, I decided I was gonna cut some weight. And at that time, I think I weighed in at 228 was the highest I weighed in at. And I looked at that number and I said, that number is too high on the scale. Okay, and now look, I was lifting a lot. I was lifting the most weight I've ever lifted in my life. Like I had some beautiful, beautiful lifts that I was super pumped about. However, that wasn't aligning with what I wanted to be able to do. What I wanted to be able to do was patrol in the field comfortably and for as long as I can, right? And carrying all that weight around was getting in the way of my mission goal. And it was harder for me to move in the field for long periods of time. So I lost 20 some pounds. Uh, and, and I think I'm down to like 206-ish the other day was what I weighed in at. And I'd like to get under two and then kind of reevaluate. But point being, I, I, had to, I had to lose the weight, right? So I cut my weight down. Now, have I lost some strength in there? Yeah, you know, unfortunately I have. However, what are my mission goals, right? Now, when I go out and I patrol in the field and I practice, I can move better. I move freer, right? I don't feel as tired. Like those are very real payoffs that I have for aligning my, my fitness goals to my mission goals. And again, if you're like me and you wanna embrace your martial American heritage, you should ask yourself, what, what does that look like? What, what would be my ideal physical build? If I could make my body into anything I wanted, what would it be? And for a large part, you can probably do that. Now, you, you can't grow taller. You can't uh, you know, shrink the, the width of your shoulders. You, there's a lot you can't do. But there are certain things you can control. And that just takes, I don't know, an hour every day, 30 minutes every day, uh, in order to do some physical work, right, to get you to where you want to be, and then watching your diet, right? This is, again, there's lots of info out there about that, whatever. Point being, you need to look at that and say, how can I align my body with my mission? I want you to align those because, hey, we all know difficult times in America are coming. And the more that those two are in sync for you, the easier it's gonna be for you. If there's a big gap between what you consider your, your ideal physical build, and I'm, you know, again, that depends on your mission set because that's what we're basing it on. What do I wanna be able to do? What do I want to be able to, what mission do I want to be able to complete and then align your fitness goals to that, right? The military tends to have a really high physical standard and they do that for a variety of reasons, one of which is mental toughness, right? To push people past where they think they can go in order to, for them to prove to themselves that you're much tougher than you think. And it works, it's super effective, okay? That's, that's not a bad program. And if that's what you want to do, hey, knock yourself out. But I personally am not interested in fitness for fitness sake or fitness for mental toughness sake. Although I will say lifting a heavy set of five deadlifts, like there's, there's some mental toughness involved there and it is one of the most pleasurable experiences on the planet. And so I recommend that. Uh, however, again, we need to align our goals to what it is we're trying to accomplish. And so you as an everyday guy who just wants to embrace your martial American heritage, I would tell you align your fitness goals to your mission goals and make those sync up. Chances are you're gonna be a light infantry guy and you're gonna be moving a lot and running around a lot. And so I would tell you in general to push your body that way so that you can move and groove for a long period of time. And when we're out in the field on mile eight of 16, I don't care what your deadlift is. I don't care what your bench press is. What I care is, can you complete the next eight miles in order for us to get to where we need to get to? right? That's what I care about in that moment. And that's probably what you'll be caring about in that moment. So I hope that's helpful. Think about that and consider making sure those are aligned so that everything in your life drives to this one thing to make you as an effective fighter as possible. I say everything there loosely because of course there are things in life that outweigh gun stuff, but that's a different video. Hope that's helpful. Do brave deeds and endure.